Hey guys, Serpent X here. Uh, gonna be throwing a system together for a family friend of mine. Uh, gonna be using the B350 uh, from ASRock, a ADATA MVME SSD, uh, Kingston HyperX 2400 megahertz the DDR4, and then the 2400G from uh, AMD Ryzen series uh, with the Vega graphics, uh, I think it's Vega 11. And we're gonna be putting it all out together on the anti-static mod mat that you can get at Gamers Nexus. Um, I'm sure you heard about it. If not, go check them out. Uh, pretty good. Uh, and I'm gonna be putting it in some crappy tower. This guy, family friend, is not gonna even be able to max out this system, so I'm not gonna worry about it. And instead of using the stealth cooler that AMD provides and uh, with the 2400G, I'm gonna be using the Hyper 212 Evo to keep things cool because if you checked out the YouTube reviews, a lot of them are reporting high temperatures and that's because they use stock thermal paste and this processor is not soldered to the IHS. So I'll throw up some numbers, benchmark. Um, I'm gonna be doing something a little bit different from the traditional and we'll see how things go. So there it is in this junky uh, computer case, but I do have some pretty cool stickers that I'm going to put on it and give it a little bit of style points, I guess you could say. This is what we're upgrading from. LGA 775, I think that's a E5400. So dual core processor to four core, eight threads with integrated GPU. I think that's a pretty good jump. All right, so it looks like this video is not gonna be ending on a good note. Um, I'm gonna try one more thing, and then I'll wrap up things here. So basically, this motherboard, uh, let's see if you guys can see this. So, the motherboard, here's the BIOS, P2.30. So um, besides the YouTubers that got review samples and motherboards and all that good stuff uh, the regular consumer if they already have an AMD board and Ryzen processor they're, they're good to go because they can update the BIOS and I would obviously recommend updating the BIOS before uh, replacing or putting in this CPU in there um, because right now I'm not getting anything on this board uh, fans will spin but uh, nothing will happen so I got a 1200 on the way, going to slap it in here, and if it's not the motherboard, if the motherboard's not DOA, I'm going to update the BIOS and then I put this back in, and then I'll ship the 1200 back in or use it on a different system, uh, but uh, to let this be a, a, you know, learn from my example, do as I say and not as I do, obviously. Um, if you're just taking... If this is your first system, you're building it, you just grab the motherboard, a 2200G or a 2400G, you're going to bump into this issue where the motherboards that were on the shelf have an old BIOS and they're unable to work or detect the new CPUs and the only way you can update your BIOS is if you can post and I can't post. So be aware of that. Uh, like I said, I'm going to try uh, one more thing and then we go from there, but uh, yeah. Tried everything, tried different power supply, memory sticks, different memory, swapping out memory one at a time. Uh, disconnected everything, but the power switch, and not even the speaker, I'm not even getting, you know, beeps, motherboard beeps or anything. So it could be the motherboard. But just to rule it out, before I ship this back to Newegg, since Amazon is quicker at shipping, I'm gonna swap out the processor since it will be here Friday, and today's Wednesday night. Um, and if I don't get a post on this board, then I know it's the motherboard and I'll ship it back through Newegg. So I'll be back in a second. All right, trying to finalize this. Monitor, motherboard out of the box. No way for it to be grounded on the case. Power supply, only power is hooked up. Uh, not gonna leave it on long, so processor should overheat. Nothing else is connected. Let's try this again. Alright. And nothing. Yeah, I'm 
pretty sure that motherboard and that processor aren't talking. If this motherboard is really DOA, then Newegg would take care of it. Not the first ASRock board would have, that would have been DOA, but it would have been nice to have the system up and running already had everything set up, windows, drivers, all that good stuff. So let's not let it run too long. Barely even warm. All right, so that's it. This is why I like to do these things. So from um, a, a consumer's perspective, this would have been bad. If this was just any regular uh, computer person building or building a computer for the first time, one of the reasons why you would go with this CPU in the first place is because it has an integrated GPU that's actually not bad compared to Intel's uh, choices and because the video card market is crap right now. So this would have been perfect. However, on the motherboards, more than likely, they're in stock right now until X470 comes out. Probably have old BIOS installed on it. So either the manufacturer needs to update most of their BIOS or before the, they ship it out to a customer, um, updated or it, you're gonna be upgrading from one but i don't see why you would upgrade from maybe a 1200 to this or 1400 to this but to upgrade from a ryzen 1600 to this not really 17 or 1800 so if you're a consumer and you're thinking about getting the 2400g or the 2200g you might want to be careful uh, if you have a friend with a Ryzen processor, you can borrow theirs to make sure, update the BIOS, and then slap your new uh, processor in there. But for now, I will wait till the 1200 comes in on Friday, and then try all this junk again. Uh, until that time, I'll catch you guys later. Like, share, subscribe, or comment below. Uh, this is normal, so I'm not gonna complain. I was expecting something similar to this. This is new tech. Every time new tech comes out, this is what happens. So good luck to you. Hopefully this helps you out. And if you have a friend that's about to invest or buy themselves a 2200G or 2400G, uh, let them know. All right. Take care, guys.